Representatives passed a bill voting on how people protest. None of your sides. Caitlin Richards is in the studio now to break down House Bill 40. Caitlin. Courtney, North Carolina House of Representatives passed House Bill 40, a bill that could give consequences to those who participate in riots. What we've done is craft a bill that balances the need for safety and security with the fundamental right that every American has to protest. House Speaker Tim Moore presented House Bill 40 as a main sponsor on Wednesday before it passed. Those in favor of the bill say it includes all protesters and it doesn't matter what group they are with. One of those supporters, Republican District 75 House Representative Keith Kidwell. He says in part, quote, the First Amendment guarantees the right to peacefully protest, but there is no excuse for violence and destruction. Some bill elements include penalties for rioters and rioting that causes damage to property and people. These fines can be in excess of $1,500 with a possible felony charge. Democrat District 5 State Senator Candy Smith says as the bill could head to the Senate, she says she thinks it infringes on the First Amendment right. I think this is uh, another way to put black and brown people um, in jail unnecessarily. If you read the bill in its entirety, and when you see um, if it was worded differently or talk, talking about damage being done, but it says imminent threat. So that means, you know, really nothing has to be done or if someone is inciting. So what leads one to believe someone's inciting? Lawmakers say if this bill passes, it will take effect December 1st of this year. In studio, Kaylin Richards, 9 on your side.